companies. Fox 25's Peyton May joins us live. Peyton, what's the purpose of the law being challenged? Well, Adam, in 2022, a law was passed preventing the state from inv investing in companies that boycott oil and gas. But today, a judge said there needs to be an end to the blacklist on banks because the law is vague. Taxpayers should want the state government to invest their money to get the highest return, period. Arguing against the attorney general and state treasurer, Colin Walkie says the law preventing investment in companies who don't support oil and gas doesn't necessarily benefit all Oklahomans or our pension system. This act is set up in such a way that taxpayer dollars can actually go to harm pension beneficiaries because its purpose is to protect a different industry not the pension beneficiaries. His argument is that if an environmentally friendly company is making the state money, they shouldn't be blacklisted just because they boycott oil and gas. The attorney general's team argued protecting oil and gas protects the state as a whole. Hearing from both sides of the issue, the judge ultimately decided to change her ruling from a temporary to permanent block of the law. The attorney general's office took on the case late in the legal process, and they sent a statement saying, quote, the ruling comes as no surprise given the fact that Treasurer Russ and his hand-picked legal counsel already lost the initial hearing. The state treasurer sent a statement saying he's disappointed as this will significantly impact a key industry in the state. The attorney general's office said they will be appealing that decision through the courts. So we will have an update for you when we learn more. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Peyton May, Fox 25 News.